I often tell you guys that uh, to right a wrong or fix a dysfunction in the black community, that it's going to take commitment. It's going to take time. It's going to take you understanding what the task is going to be at hand, and you're going to have to know what the job is going in. You know, now Ed Reed has decided to take a job at Bethune-Cookman University, and before he even was announced as head coach or they got a contract in writing, he's online going off. Let's listen to some of the things that he that he had to say uh, coming to the school and seeing the school and we'll come right back. Been munting and showing shit. I chose not to. But now I'm out here walking with the football team, picking up trash. But I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. I should leave. I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers ain't even clean my goddamn office when I got here. I'm mutting y'all. Get your ass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's fucking trash. What are you talking about? I need no goddamn donors to come out and help out because people just want money. That's why I don't have, that's why I don't fuck with social network. Fuck out of here, man. Prime was not wrong about what he was saying. All y'all out there with y'all opinions, full of crap, don't know shit. But needless to say, I just pulled up to work. Try to, um, we're gonna try to help y'all too, man, because I know a lot of HBCs need help. I'm just here to help here first. I see it all too clearly. All our HBCs need help. HBCUs need help. And they need help because of the people who's running it. It's broken mentalities out here. I'm going to leave y'all with that, man. I got to get in the office. I hope y'all be blessed out there. 336, I see you, my bro. About to pull up in the office, bro. I got to get out here. My guy's already out here working. I've been here for a week and a half. I've been here for a week and a half and have done more than people that have been here in freaking years. And I'm not even hired yet. Damn shame. I now, after that rant, um, I guess 24 hours must have set in. He must have really thought about what he said, uh, thought about his actions. He issued an apology. He said, the Pro, the Pro Football Hall of Famer released the following statements. In regards to my social media comments about the university staff and other institutions, I would like to sincerely apologize to all BCU staff, students, and alumni for my lack of professionalism. My language and tone were unacceptable as a father, coach, and leader. My passion for our culture, betterment, and bringing our foundation up got the best of me. And I fell victim while engaging with antagonists on social media as well. I am fully, I am fully aware of the hard work folk at our school and who are also fighting to make things better and more financially sound. I am encouraged from my communication with my AD and our administration and understand it's a work in progress. My passion is about getting and doing better and, and, and creating uh, better things for those for me too. But Thune Cookman announced that it had reached an agreement with Ed Reed to become its head coach in late December. It has yet to formally introduce him as the head coach. Reed revealed he doesn't even have a contract yet. Let me explain. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just say this in short. You know, with Deion Sanders leaving, and the way he left and the way it played out on social media, a lot, of, a lot of our people, you guys out there, you already believe the lie. You believe that we're incapable of doing things. You believe everything that the white man said about us because we perpetuated and manifested on each other. I don't like what Ed Reed did because Ed Reed knew the assignment coming in. We already know the dysfunction of HBCUs because we understand the dysfunction of our communities and the dysfunctional mindset that, that flows within the minds of our people.
So when you go to social media, the way Dion did, the way Jackson State did, and you expose a lot of our dirty laundry without us closing the door and trying to fix our stuff, what you do is reinforce the negative stereotypes that other groups already think about us. The negative stereotypes that black people even think about black people. It's going to take us to fix our problems. And we're going to, and, and, the, and the only way to fix the problem is to know that there is a problem, there is a dysfunction, and we have to look through the window before going in knowing that this is what's in that room. And when we get in there, it's going to be all kinds of BS for the first couple of years until we begin to change the culture over time. It's going to take time. And he knew that. So when that man is on there saying Deion Sanders was right, well, guess what, Ed Reed? Deion Sanders also knew the job and the task when he went there. So if we want to really change the conditions of black dysfunction, we're going to be having to willing to get dirty. We're going to have to be willing to get some bloody elbows and some ashy knees. We're going to have to be willing to get down in the muck and grind in order to turn this thing back into a pretty garden. Because that's what it's going to take. But us, all this ranting and raving, all on social media to the world, the world is watching. And the world, when they come into America, to the black communities, they already look at us as, as children. Without the ability to care for ourselves. So we make these rants all over social media for the world to hear. You don't hear other groups operating like this. For even you detractors that think he was right. Show me where the other groups carry on to operate like this. Only within ours. And it's only going to take us to clean up us. So Ed Reed, I, 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 we accept your apology. But you got it, man. You, you got to get it together, man. You got to get it together. We got to get to a point where we stop giving our children over to that, those uh, 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 D1 colleges We give our children to create their Multi-billion dollar infrastructure Multi-billion dollar empires Our schools wouldn't be so shabby If we just kept our children And made all the money come to us Because we are the money They're nothing without us Nobody's going to go watch just the white players We have all the power we need But we give everything over to them for free And then we complain When our conditions is in squalor so that's my take on it. That's my take on it. I, I hope everybody, we forgive Ed Reed because I know that he loves his people. Sometimes we get frustrated and we make mistakes. But he apologized and the brother's bouncing back. But make sure y'all hit that like button. Leave your comment in the comment section. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.